if you watch some of my more recent videos, you see me talk about my old videos. and They were shitty. Um, so I'm redoing some of the old videos and this is one that I've been really looking forward to do because I found a few new things about it since then. And this is the 1944 Trader Vic Mai Tai. My little low carb has been put on it. Now I've seen Mai Tai videos where, um, well, let's go back, let's jump back near 80 years ago. Trader Vic designed a Mai Tai with one rum, Ray and Nephew's 17 year but apparently he makes a good damn drink because everybody drank it all. Drank all the Ray and Nephew 17 year and there was nothing left. So his bar was still open, so he had to find something else to do. So he played around with the different rums, then eventually decided to do a blend of rums that he felt best hit that flavor profile of the Ray uh, Ray and Nephew's 17 year. And that is a blend of a dark Jamaican rum and an amber Martinique rum. Well, Martinique rums are, are usually made from cane juice rather than molasses or sugar. So it's got a little bit of earthy, grassy note on it. And I love those agricole style cane juice rums. One of my favorites. So, and my, I don't have an amber one, so kind of, let's go with my rums. So for my, Martinique style rum, cane juice rum, is I'm using uh, Sugarfield local distillery here in Louisiana, I'm using their cane juice rum. For my dark Jamaican rum, um, I'm going to be using, let me get it, Jamaican Pastille Black by Hamilton. Now, I've seen a lot of videos and a lot of people making recipes and I've been to bars where they made Mai Tais and they do a dark rum float on top. They make the drink and then they pour the dark rum float on top and I, I, I don't like that. That's not what Trader Vic did. Trader Vic shook everything up in one shot and poured it in a glass. So that's kind of what we're gonna do. Now, like I said, uh, usually we'll have a um, dark or uh, gold amber aged uh, Martinique rum. Don't have it. Um, and I like Sugarfield's cane juice rum, so we're using that. So enough jibber jabber, let's make a cocktail. Let's do one ounce of fresh lime juice. Do a quarter ounce of our Augulo Simple Syrup. Made with RX Sugar. There'll be a link in the description below to get a discount on some of that. Quarter ounce of Simple Syrup. And you see it's not overly sweet. Um, a lot of Mai Tais you'll see sometimes will have like tons of juices in them. Mai Tai is not supposed to be full of fruit juices. It really isn't. Quarter ounce of Orgeat or an almond syrup. Monin sugar-free almond syrup works great. Quarter ounce of that. Half ounce of our orange liqueur. Dry curacao is what it's called for in a Trader Vic recipe. Um, if you haven't made my orange liqueur, I'll leave a link right here. You can check that out. We'll do a half ounce of an orange liqueur and one ounce of each rum, a cane juice rum, Martinique style specifically is what they said, but um, I'm using my favorite cane juice rum. One ounce of that, and one ounce of a dark Jamaican rum. Hamilton's Jamaican Pastel Black is amazing. That's my Hamilton song. Oh my God, that's just so, the molasses, it's so molasses strong on that news. All right, so we're gonna add ice to the other shaker. Fill that up. Put all that together and shake shit out of it. All right. We'll just dump this into a glass, old fashioned glass, since I don't have any Mai Tai glasses. Now for the garnish. When you finish juicing your limes, save one of the lime shells or however many Mai Tais you're making because you need one lime shell for each one. Let's top that off with a little bit more ice. A little more crushed ice. There we go. So, the garnish, you definitely want to do a lime shell, half lime upside down. As Trader Vic says, that represents an island. 
and then a little bit of mint right behind there. So now you have the palm trees on the island. And my mint's pretty jacked up. I went to my garden and grabbed the mint and they've been eating all up. I gotta, gotta get something to take care of that so the bugs stop eating my mint. Go ahead, this. Man, that's so good. We need a tiki straw from Surfside Sips. There we go. That's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Oh, damn, that's so good. Who? I mean, tiki cocktails don't have to be fruity. The Mai Tai shouldn't be fruity. There's the only fruit juice in there is lime. That's it. There's no pineapple juice. There's no grenadine. There's no orange juice. That's not a Mai Tai. So says Trader Vic and a lot of other people. So, all right guys, go ahead and make yourself an authentic Mai Tai. Trader Vic style from 1944. That's, that's 78 years. That recipe is 78 years old and people still making it today. And hey guys, don't forget, do all those things YouTubers tell you to do. Give me a thumbs up, you know, like the video, share the video, leave a comment. If you wanna subscribe, that'd be cool too. As always, thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a great day because um, I'm having a Mai Tai, so I've gotta be having a great day. See you later.